Welcome to the Trending Edge, your ultimate destination for all things trending and cutting edge. From the latest news and viral stories to innovative technology and exciting discoveries, we've got you covered. Join us as we delve into the forefront of trends, exploring the fascinating world of what's hot and happening right now. Subscribe to our channel and get ready to ride the wave of the future with the Trending Edge. In this video, we'll take a look at how Justin Geithch, Alex Pereira, and Kevin Holland are approaching title shots in their respective divisions, and what's next for Dustin Poirier after his devastating loss. First, let's talk about Justin Geithch, who avenged his 2018 defeat to Dustin Poirier with a spectacular head kick knockout in the main event. Geith showed his improved striking and patience as he picked apart Poirier with leg kicks and jabs before landing the finishing blow in the second round. Geith has now won three in a row since losing to Khabib Nurmagomedov in 2020, and he has made it clear that he wants to fight for the UFC lightweight title next. He will have to wait for the outcome of the rematch between Islam Makhachev and Charles Oliveira, who will clash for the belt at UFC 294 in October. Geith has already beaten Oliveira by TKO in 2017, but he has never faced Makhachev, who is on a nine-fight winning streak and is considered one of the best grapplers in the division. Whoever emerges as the champion, Geith will be ready to challenge them with his explosive power and relentless pressure. Next, let's talk about Alex Pereira, who made a successful light heavyweight debut by edging out former champion Jan Blachowicz by split decision. Pereira is best known for being the only man to knock out Israel Adesanya in kickboxing, and he has brought his striking skills to the UFC. He started his UFC career as a middleweight, where he knocked out Andreas Michalides and Bruno Silva in his first two fights. He then decided to move up to light heavyweight, where he faced a tough test in Blachovic, who had lost his title to Glover Teixeira in his previous fight. Herrera used his speed and reach advantage to outstrike Blachovic, who tried to take him down but failed to keep him there. Herrera showed his durability and composure as he survived some heavy shots from Blachovic in the third round and secured the win by a narrow margin. Herrera is now on a six-fight winning streak overall, and he has put himself in a position to challenge for the light heavyweight title soon. He will have to wait for the winner of Teixeira vs. Jiri Prochaska, who will fight for the belt at UFC 295 in November. Herrera has already expressed his interest in fighting Prochaska, who is known for his flashy and unpredictable striking style. A fight between them would be a striking fan's dream come true. Finally, let's talk about Kevin Holland, who bounced back from two consecutive losses with a dominant win over Daniel Rodriguez at welterweight. Holland was one of the most active and exciting fighters of 2020 when he won five fights in a row at middleweight, including a knockout of Jack Air Souza from his back. However, he ran into trouble in 2021 when he lost to Derek Brunson and Marvin Vittori by unanimous decision. Both Brunson and Vittori exposed Holland's weakness in wrestling and grappling as they took him down repeatedly and controlled him on the ground. Holland decided to drop down to welterweight, where he hoped to have more success against smaller opponents. He faced Rodriguez, who had won four of his five UFC fights by knockout or submission. Holland showed his improved takedown defense and grappling skills as he stuffed Rodriguez's attempts to take him down and reversed him on the ground several times. He also landed more strikes than Rodriguez on the feet and on the mat, earning him a clear-cut decision victory. Holland is now back in the win column and has shown that he can compete at welterweight as well as middleweight. He hinted that he might go back up to middleweight for his next fight, but he also said that he would fight anyone who was willing to face him. Holland is one of the most entertaining and versatile fighters in the UFC, and he has many potential matchups in both divisions. That's it for this video. What did you think of UFC 291? Who do you want to see Geith, Pereira, and Holland fight next? And what's next for Poirier after his loss? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more MMA content.